Hello, this is Breuer, and welcome back to another episode of our Let's Play for Civilization VI as we continue our Mongolian a marathon run here. And uh, we are starting to gear up for actual war now. This It's time. It is time for the war to proceed. Um, we've already got a couple fighter jets out there, which is funny because we're also building trebuchets. It's just, it's just the way things are going to be right now. <laughs> um, but we definitely need to get straight towards artillery. Artillery are going to be our bread and butter because we do have a good amount of oil available to us. Um, so we're going to be definitely using artillery support, supported by fighters with a front line of probably light infantry at the moment uh, with any cavalry that we throw in. Obviously, we want to have cavalry because cavalry are good for us. Um, so long term, we're going to be definitely pushing towards cavalry as our primary front liners. Actually, I might just leave the line infantry back home and just, just use the cavalry now that I think about it. We'll figure it out. But uh, we do have a Kurosar down here um, available to us. We do have a couple ironclads available. Uh, if we could go over here and take Mirif, uh, that would be good because they do have some aluminum sitting underneath this uh, industrial zone right here. That would allow us to get a couple more either fighters, maybe even sneak in a couple bombers just to kind of help with things a bit. Uh, but again, oil is, is, is something we have a reasonably good amount of, enough to actually get some war going. Uh, let me check something. Do mod, uh, the rocket artillery... They also use oil, so that's perfect. Because eventually we're going to want to push up the rocket artillery. Uh, right now we are researching... What are we researching right now? Oh, advanced flight to get us uh, better fighters. Um, Yeah, that's fine. Because our current fighters use oil, right? I forget what the biplanes use. Where are the biplanes? Right there. Uh, Yeah, the current ones use oil, which is fine. We do have enough aluminum. We've got two aluminum coming in. So... We'll need to get a little bit more aluminum to support the three. Uh, we'll only be able to probably do two at the moment. One will have to stay a biplane, but we'll make make it work somehow. So let's get things rolling here. I know some people are concerned about how slow this has been going, but it's a marathon game. It's supposed to be slow. That's the whole point. Once we actually get into battle, there are going to be a lot of battle. It's, it's going to be a very, very long, drawn-out war to sweep across the world here. So uh, that's just going to be the way it is. We got a military engineer. What was I using you for? I don't remember why I built you, I'll be honest. Um, because we already got railroads being put everywhere. In fact, where's our other military engineer that's been doing the railroads? I don't see him. Yeah, whatever. <laughs> He's out there somewhere. Um, I mean, we could use you to put up some... Do we need any forts? Any sort of boost or anything like that? I don't think so, no. Do we need... Yeah, we don't. We could use you to put some airfields up here, just to have some more jumping off points, and that might have been exactly what I was planning on doing with you. Uh, airfields have to be built on flat land, right? There's a lot of hills over here. Not a lot of spaces to put airfields. I mean, the best airfield spot would be one of these tiles here that we're, we really like, but are we actually using all those? We're not using that one, so we could put an airfield there just as a jumping off point. Let me just confirm that airfields do have to be built on flat land. It makes sense, but you never know. Air, what's an air base? Oh, okay. I've <laughs> never actually looked at that. Um, airfield. Oops, two words. Airfield. What's it under? Airstrip. Oh, it's an airstrip. There we go. Um, can only be built on flat terrain. That makes perfect sense. So we might have to build it here because there's really not a lot of flat terrain. I mean, we could build it all the way back here. It's not super ideal. There's just not any flat terrain nearby. There really isn't. I mean, this is a garbage tile. I mean, it's not going to be great, but it just means... And we're not going to have that many units. You know what? Let me just hold on to this guy. We might use him more forward advancement into... Once we start taking some of these cities to be able to drop down a, uh, an air field in certain places if we feel that's necessary. So we'll just sit on you. Uh, we're not going to use you for anything right now. That's going to be fine. Um, completed Kurosar. Wait a minute, was this, was this the original engineer that we had and I'm just making things up? I am making things up. We just built a Kurosar. I've been, I've been trying to figure out why we built it. It's because they popped up in the same tile. I thought we just built a military engineer. I'm like, why did we build a second military engineer? We already had one. Never mind, guys. I'll be all right. All right, so Kurosar, we're going to advance you. Do I want to go for Mira first? Honestly, I feel like just diving into the depths of their cities first would be the best move, and then we can swing down. I don't think we're going to need the aluminum quite as readily. I mean, it'll be good to have later 
once you start advancing into some of the other uh, civilizations. But I think initially, just starting with these Kurosars will be fine. In fact, let's just get a couple of these Kurosars pushed up here uh, and to group up here. We really don't need much. The couple fighters, the three fighters that we're going to have with some artillery support and maybe two Kurosars, that's enough. Uh, that's plenty to get what, what done what we need to get done here. I mean, she's got a massive military, don't get me wrong. But once we start chewing it apart with fighter jets, it's not going to matter that much. Karakorum could put an aerodrome down. I mean, we've been sitting here talking about airfields and things like that, but it's not... We don't... If we had... If we could support a huge number of, of air units, I would absolutely do that. But since we can't, I'm feeling like that is less useful to us. So honestly, I think we're just going to keep pushing um, Kurosars. For now which will turn into tanks later. Uh, how far away are we from Armadas? Or not Armadas, Armies. Nationalism's right there, which allows us to do cores. I was holding off on this because we were going to do a CB at some point, but a CB war at some point, maybe. But we not, might need to push into that, like, right away. We'll have to think about that. All right, you built a shipyard. That's good. Lots of other things for you to build. You actually need a housing stuff, don't you? I mean, aqueduct there would not be terrible. How far away? Where is... There's neighborhoods right there. I mean, we just need nationalism to get that. I think we have to push towards nationalism. Get up the uh, neighborhoods, because some of our cities are going to be capped on housing. And that'll open up a few other things down the road. I mean, in the meantime, we could have you work on something here. And maybe, like I said, the aqueduct is probably the right move. You should be having plenty of housing. Or little, plenty of food from other sources, even if I consume this. Yeah, I think we're going to take the aqueduct. Alright, uh, let's move you off of conservation then. And let's move you... Let's just, let's, just burn, let's just burn up to urbanization. We're not even close to a 15 pop city, right? Ah, uh, we are. Never mind. My mistake. We actually have Axie over here about to be 15 pop. That'll give us that boost, which will be very welcome. Because obviously our culture is not great. I mean, am I ready to denounce her? Because she's going to come attacking, right? Like, I don't have to be ready to attack her yet. I could denounce her just to have her units come to me and start blowing them up with my air units and things like that. That could be doable. I might want to wait until we get our fighters upgraded here in just a moment. Because we are very close to that. Alright, I think all of our railroad basically have been connected. I don't think there's really much more we can connect here that will speed things up too much. Yeah, we're pretty connected in all of our cities, aren't we? So I think you just go chill here. And we'll use you if we need you later. Um, the only city I would be worried about would be this one down here. It doesn't have much protection. Yeah, it doesn't even have walls or anything like that. We could definitely move something down there to help it out. We could just buy some. We have tons of gold. We got so much gold right now. We're going to be using that, I think, here in a bit. I mean, our Kurosars are at least a bit more powerful than cavalry. Although they are cores and not ours are not. I'm tempted to start this. Just to, just to get her to come to me and start blowing some stuff up. We can start whittling down her forces. I mean, she's got a lot of forces down here. Again, a little scary. But we can move these air units down there to help kind of kill some stuff. Now, let's wait the two more turns, like I said uh, before, about waiting for the fighters to, 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 to sneak in here. Slightly better fighters. I mean, these fighters are still good. Don't get me wrong. These are really strong. But these would be even better. And if we can get these bumped up to cavalry killers... That would be great. Oh, we just got some gold. Uh, yeah, let's just go ahead and go into some more amenity type stuff. Factory's done here. Um, do we want a coal power plant back here? I mean, we got enough. But I don't think anybody needs power back here right now. So we might just sneak into the bank, get some more gold coming in. Because, you know, why not? <laughs> not, that, not that we need the gold, but, you know, why not? If we can get a couple core um, Kurosars, I think I'll be happy with that. You've got a promotion. And we'll take that. And obviously we want to get some Diplo visibility here. 
because that's going to help us get a little bit more. I mean, for even for us specifically. Really, what I want to do is get this guy promoted up to a master spy. But, and you can't get that from Diplo visibility stuff, unfortunately. Really All right, so that's our opportunity to bump these guys up. Use aluminum instead. That way it'd be in friendly territory, which is fine. Uh, we'll just rebase you back home. We will rebase you back home. And we'll get you guys upgraded here in a moment. Trebuchet is ready to get upgraded as to... We're not going to go to Bombard. We're going to skip Bombard and go straight to Artillery once we get that completed. We'd have two Trebuchets available. We really need at least probably four total Trebuchet cores. That's how it would make me feel very comfortable. Let's just move you up here. Let's get you guys next to each other. Be ready to, to group together. Uh, let's just go straight for the artillery. We need the artillery. That's going to be very key for what we're doing. We're about to have nationalism. That'll help as well. I don't know that Karakota needs uh, walls. I mean, I might put walls down here in Keshkir, but Karakota can keep working on other things. Uh, we already have the observation balloon somewhere. There it is. Let's go ahead and have you just group up with that guy. And then, which is, does give us range. An extra range on trebuchets is crazy, right? <laughs> but uh, it works. And do we just keep working on trebuchets? Yeah, we can get a couple more trebuchets out before the um, artillery sneak in here. And that'll allow us to um, have a couple more cores ready to go. Cool. I'm happy with all that. We're getting there. We're about, we're going to be ready to just trigger this not too far away. Um... I mean, do I just keep siphoning funds for now? Because it's it's a nice, easy thing to do. Taking the boost for rocketry would be really good. 84% chance is not great, but it's something. We get the boost for rocketry. That pushes up to uh, rocket artillery, you know, a little bit quicker. I just need to get that guy promoted. That's really all we care about. And maybe I should have just taken the safer thing. But uh, we'll work through it. They want to give me gold for my bracelet. And no, we're not going to give up our aluminum. Our aluminum is too important to us. Now, the one thing about trying to take some of these cities is that we are going to have some loyalty issues initially. Um, yeah, it's going to be a little bit tough on the loyalty side of things. All right, we can go ahead and get you guys upgraded. We got plenty of resources for both of these upgrades. I'm pretty sure. Oh, you actually are going to be a fighter. So we are going to be negative on the aluminum for a bit. I might need to buy some aluminum from somebody just to make sure we have plenty. Uh, let's go ahead and go through these, though. Uh, let's make sure there's nothing to sell. Strategic resources. Uh, let's go for aluminum. Anybody have something that they can give me? I mean, getting it from her and then declaring war on her means we cancel the deal and we get the aluminum for free, basically. So we'll take that. That gives us a pretty big cushion uh, with the three fighters, and that's going to be really good for us. Um... Oh, let's see if we can sell any of our strategic resources to anybody. Yeah, that's crazy, but okay. We obviously don't need horses. We don't need iron. Anything we get for any of this stuff is great. Uh, Niter, I don't care about as much. Coal, we really don't care about that much either, to be perfectly honest. Giving up a little bit of coal is fine. Uh, aluminum, we don't want to do. Oil, oil, it's tempting. But I think we hold on to our oil. We're going to start building some stuff up. We might need it. All right. I like that. We got some money from all of that. Cool. We got two fighters. Two fighters is going to be plenty to chew through. Whatever forces she sends our way. Third one coming soon. Do I wait for national? I might just wait for nationalism. Just to make sure we can get these guys grouped up a little bit. And then I think we're good to go. Walls in Ulaanbaatar wouldn't be bad, just so we can kind of block off this this passageway here. I think we are ready to denounce her, though. Oh, that's not rebase. I want to deploy you. I'm just going to deploy you in our territory. Just be ready. I'm going to deploy you in our territory right here on the edge. Just be ready. All right, one turn on nationalism. All right, let's get that announcement going. Okay. We, we, we need to get this going here soon. She's got a massive military, but I, I've said this before and I'll say it again, just, just in case anybody's not heard it before. As long on deity difficulty, as long as you, the player, has at least half of the combat strength of the person you're going against, you are going to be fine. 
We, you don't need much more than that. Um, it's just the, the nature of how the AI is just not that good <laughs> the military, to be perfectly honest. So as long as we have at least half, which we do, we have a little more than half, we are going to be perfectly fine with whatever war we decide to declare. The only thing that beats me um, personally in wars is walls. Dealing with walls. Um, dealing with the units are not a, never a problem. It's the walls that slow me down where I'm like, oh man, I can't get through these walls unless I get up to rocket artillery or, or battleships or things like that. So usually that's what slows me down. All right. Uh, any policies we want to change considering that we're about to be going to war? We could go ahead and get us more aluminum, but we just bought a bunch of aluminum, so we don't need to do that. In fact, we don't even have the thing to do that yet anyway. Uh, gold discount on all unit upgrades is not a terrible idea. I like the adjacency from the industrial zones. I think we'll stick with that. More production is extremely good for us. We might need to swing into the uh, loyalty soon, but for now, this is okay. Um, science side of things. I mean, triangular trade would give us a massive amount more gold, which we have so much gold. But we're gonna we're gonna spend it. I promise. I like having a big pool of gold so I can just drop it all at once. Um, honestly, no. I, I don't feel like anything needs to change except maybe monarchic legacy here. I think we move into oligarchic legacy to see a little bit more combat strength. Or just plug in something else into that wild card slot entirely. I mean, national identity is usually really strong. I mean, we could go for like Cavalry stuff. But we're actually pumping out our cavalry pretty quickly considering it's a marathon game and we're pump pumping them out in four turns. That's pretty solid. Um, we don't really need the gold discount because we've got so much gold already. More movement starting in turn in friendly territory is almost always really good. This wouldn't cover our cavalry, which we're going to be the bulk of our military. So I think we'll ignore that. I think we'll take the movement. Movement is going to play to our cavalry a bit more. And it's just always good to have. All right, so we can start corn things. Perfect. So we'll grab you. We'll have you guys group up. Where's your buddy? Is he hidden under the... Wait, what? Oh, you got kicked back because we put the airplane there? I didn't know that was a thing. I genuinely did not realize that you couldn't put airplanes on top of an air unit. Have I not put your air... I'm confused, guys. <laughs> I'm really confused about why that... I could have sworn I've put air units on top of my own units before. A little strange, but whatever. Um, another spy could be useful to get... Because obviously we definitely need the diplomatic visibility. That's huge for us. But also just more trebuchets that are about to turn into artillery. Probably better. Oh, no, no. That was a Curasar we just built. Where's my other Curasar? What? Is there one hiding under there? And I just don't see it? I'm confused. We got you. Did I accidentally... Oh, my goodness. I actually had you moving, didn't I? That's what happens. Sometimes that happens. I'm, like, clicking around and stuff, and sometimes things move to random places. Okay, now problem is... Mystery is solved. I was so confused. All right, we definitely want to get us another Kurosar, which we have one there, so that'll give us two core Kurosars. We've got several trebuchets coming out, which will be turned into artillery, so we'll have at least... Probably have at least three artillery here soon. Yeah, this is looking good. This is going to be the starts of a really strong unit uh, uh, setup here. Um, I may just have you focus on gold, because once we start the war, we are going to lose a lot of money from people. So let's just focus on gold here. Okay, we gotta definitely... Need, I mean, Victor's great. We have Victor. Um, I mean, bumping Pingala up to get a little bit more culture wouldn't be bad. In fact, I think that's exactly what we're gonna do. We're gonna grab culture, and which sounds backwards, right? We, we care more about science, but Pingala being able to give us a bit of culture... Uh, it's only nine here because he's in this city, but it's, it's still just something, right? Culture is more valuable to us right now because we still need culture to be able to get up to uh, armies and things of that nature. I don't focus culture, but I can't ignore culture. Does that make sense? I hope that makes sense. Okay. 
Another air unit. Uh, don't think I can rebase you anywhere too close up. Actually, I guess I can put you down here in cash gear. And you can help cover cover that front. All right, more trebuchets. Let's just move you up here. We will get you grouped up with a buddy here in a moment. Uh, another Kurosar. You can come up here to his buddy. And that's two Kurosars. That might be enough. I'd like to get a light cavalry just because they're a little bit more mobile. Heavy cavalry are kind of the bulk of our main force, but light cavalry. Um, let's see. So it's all cavalry, right? Yeah, all cavalry. So it light or heavy. And then... All heavy and light cavalry get... Plus, oh, you know what? I haven't been building these in orders, have I? I've got, I've got to make sure I build these only in orders. Where... Am I building anymore? I don't think so. I think we're good. All right. You finish the trebuchet. Can you get one more trebuchet out? Because we do need one more. You might get it out just in time. If it turns into an artillery, it's not the end of the world. All right, you finish your Kurosar. I do want to go ahead and get a light, light one, which you have the Ordu. That's perfect. So let's get us a pair of cavalry just to get some light ones out. And that'll work. Fighter is done here. I mean, we can keep making fighters. It just digs into how much aluminum we're spending, right? We're spending extra aluminum. Technically, we can make bombers, but don't know if that's the move we're going to make just yet. I think we need to hold off on that. What do we want to do? Let's go have you make the spy. We need another spy floating about. All right, looks good. Military starting to come together. Um, any mini money mo? Not really. We don't need the gold that badly. And if it's something that you want, we probably don't want to help you. Aztecs might beat us in this game, but we will start taking some people here soon. It's just Aztecs are just so far away. They're they're so remote from everybody. It is going to be very hard for us to. Uh, let's move you up there so I can move you behind you. Come on. Actually, we'll move you right there. You can group up. A pair of cores. Need at least one more. Which again, we've got coming out there. Ultimately, I want four. Four is usually a pretty good number of artillery. So I could start working on you. You'll just turn into an artillery. That's probably what we will do. Alright, we, we did lose some alliances. We might need to renew some alliances with people that we don't want to go to war with. Just so that when we just start declaring war, they don't they can't be mad at us right away. You getting a mausoleum actually wouldn't be the best worst, except for you just don't have that much land to build it on. I don't know the battleships are going to be the way to go for us. Honestly, a water park might not be a bad move. Okay. Um, all right, you're going to deploy somewhere out here. Probably up there. That's a lot of that's a lot of units. That's a lot of units. Can I deploy you guys on the mountains? No. Okay. One sure. <laughs> uh, all right. Friendships. Make the world go round. All right. Indonesia. We're not planning on going to war with anytime soon. So we're going to declare a friendship with her. I think we had a economic alliance with her just because she's relatively close by. So that works for me for now. Uh, Menelik is going to be pretty late in our hit list. So we can go ahead and do another alliance with him. Uh, apparently it was religious. That's okay. Just something. All right. Who else? Um, definitely you, Kree. We don't care about having a friendship with you, an alliance with you. That's fine. So just give me some money. And then... Scotland would be good. We've already got a friendship with Scotland. Because, again, we're not going to war against Scotland right away. Russia. Russia's massive. Uh, Russia might be a, a target somewhat soon. Same thing with Phoenicia. So we're probably going to hold off on both of those. So it would have to either be Portugal or Scotland. Or both. 
either one of them stronger militarily? No, and no. I mean, Scotland's got a little bit of military, but not much. Where's Caesar? Oh, right here in the middle. I mean, he's a little bit further away. And he's currently at war with Russia. I mean, it could be somebody we can go to war with. Or it could be in alliance with. I think we just pick Scotland. Oh, actually, which one of you guys is better on research? Oh my goodness, you're so crazy, Montezuma. I mean, I guess we could... You know what? Whatever. Can we ally with you? And get a research alliance with you? Yeah. I mean, that's just going to help us. I mean, it helps him a little bit. It's not really going to help him that much, though, because he's already researched half the world. Uh, this is insane. This is insane. I don't know if I've ever seen an AI run away with the game this much. Which is why, again, it's very likely we're going to lose this, because he's going to be able to get to um, rockets very, very, very quickly. But... Should be okay. I don't think I'm going to mess with anybody else. I think everybody else we can kind of just keep the way they are. Russia, we want to keep optional. Uh, same thing with... Yeah, these are all good. All right, let's go with this. We got a few alliances to help kind of protect us a little bit. Once things start triggering off here. And really the, the big trigger, I mean, we can do this at any time because we have enough support here to kill her units as they come into us. Although there's a lot down here that might be able to smack us around a bit more than I'm wanting right away. Oh, you guys can become a fleet. It's a good chance that she takes cash care just just because she's got raw power down here. Yeah, let me. I'm gonna hold off on it. I mean, I don't think we can declare one her yet. Anyway, I'm gonna deploy you down here so we can potentially go after cash care. All right. Um. Do we have a spy already in her territory giving us Diplo visibility? We do not. So let's get you just doing Diplo visibility while the other guy levels up. And then once he gets enough level, um, then we can switch him to Diplo visibility with the extra boost. So we're just going to move you to probably Sparta. Somewhere, somewhere far away. So let's move you to Sparta. And then we'll just get diplom diplomatic visibility from that. Which we won't have right away because it takes time to travel. We will have it here in a bit. I mean, we can be friends. It's fine. I'm not super worried about being friends with some of you guys for now. You're. It's going to be a while before we can get through these other guys. I don't want to be in alliance with you right now, but friendship. Friendship is probably okay. All right. How, how long until we can declare war? One turn. I don't know that we can actually declare any of these other wars right now. Two turns on our artillery. Got a trebuchet there. Got another one coming out there. Got another one coming out there. And we need one more. Am I miss looking? To make our four cores. Yeah, I think we need one more. So, although also this Karakorum and Karakorum and make our second uh, cavalry. So let's do the cavalry first. Because again, I want another one, a unit that can just kind of zip around. And we'll figure out how to get the other artillery from somewhere. You can make it. Actually, that's not bad. You're actually got really good production. Cool. All right. Let's go with all that. Would love to get the Diplo visibility before we kick off this war, but I don't want to wait 12 turns for it. So we'll get it when we get it and all will be well. Do we have a way to see if we have increased dip diplomatic visibility on her right now? We have top secret access right now. Which, that would go away, right? Send a spy. Yeah, the only thing we can really do is send a spy to increase it more. Okay, that's fine. Is there a way to kick out like a embassy? I've never even looked for that. I don't think so. <laughs> that would be cool if you could. Lower her access or her vision, vision with us. Oh, I was going to redeploy this guy back a little bit. And actually, on that note, I probably need to move you down as well. Just to be down here and be able to 
attack these guys better. Let's move you. Move you back a little bit. Right down here. Just give us a few, few... I mean, these guys are going to tear through cavalry. Maybe not, maybe not immediately. Okay, no, immediately. <laughs> They're immediately going to tear through cavalry. <laughs> Their units are so strong. Especially fighters. We don't even have the, the cavalry, anti-cavalry upgrade yet. All right, shipyard is done here. I don't even know what we want you to do, my friend. Um, I think you have some good campus spots, don't we? Oh, actually, not as good as I thought. Holy sites, me. Industrial zones. Nah, <laughs> I mean, not really anything. Um, your housing is not amazing. So an aqueduct actually wouldn't be terrible. Now, we do have to be protect protective of these, ca these uh, trebuchets. I don't want him to sneak past you, but I think we've got the line fairly blocked off. He'll be, we'll be okay. Getting a couple uh, anti-cavalry uh, units might not be a bad idea. But I can't. Our anti-cavalry units are our airplanes right now. That's literally what those are there for. Like, part of me just wants to start this now. <gasps> we could do a war of liberation. <laughs> oh. So we don't get grievances from the actual war itself. Well, we're going to declare war. You know what? We're just going to do it right now. We're a little bit over time. We're going to do it right now. We're going to declare the war and then leave on a cliffhanger. Boom. Let's go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cry me a river. Really? You don't like the fact that I'm declaring a no grievance war? All right, we're at war. We will be able to just destroy all of her cavalry right here. She's about to get just absolutely trucked. <laughs> And so that's a good start. We're going to put a cut in there when we come back. The war has started, guys. The world war. We're going to take... We probably will not be out of war for the duration of... Oh, actually, we have war with Russia right now, too. That's okay. Uh, we'll probably not be out of war for the duration of this game. I'm a little bit worried that Russia's in here as well, because that's 4,000 military power to our 1,200. We're about to chew up, you know, a few hundred right now. Immediately. So I think it'll be okay. And he's a little bit further away, so it'll take him a little bit of time to get to us. We'll see. I do appreciate you guys watching, though. May God bless you, and I hope you join me again next time. Thank you, and goodbye. I wanted to give a special shout-out to the following channel members. Thank you so much for supporting the channel.